Okay, welcome to another Foundry tutorial. On this one, we're going to be going through creating your first world for your game, making sure you've got the right system selected, and getting your players connected and playing straight away. First off, though, again, I have to thank the LFG, uh, LFG Europe community. It's a great place to find your games in European, Middle Eastern, and African time zones. Moving on, once you have installed your Foundry set and set everything up, make sure you've gone through all your port forwarding and stuff like this. You're going to be greeted with this screen after you've done your admin login, that is. This is our main hub for administrators and DMs of the client. To create our world, we're going to make sure we have our system installed. For doing that, we're going to go to the game system section, install system. Find our system, the Indy 5e is the main one we're going to use for this one. I've already installed it. And all your systems are going to be listed in this area here once they're installed. This is also where you go to update your systems. Next, once we've done that, we're going to go to a back to our game worlds. This is our main hub where all our worlds are stored. You can see I've got a few worlds already installed. These are uh, my main games that I'm running. Next up, we have our create world. We're going to go here. So the main title is what the when users join this is the title of this story that they're gonna see next up is our data path this is where foundry's gonna look for all the core details your compendium and mainly your background stuff once this file's created you probably won't need to have a look in it next up we have our system selection for the sake of this tutorial we're gonna go for dnd fifth edition the next three areas are pretty much just flavor background image is a splash image they see when they get the login screen we'll go for that again you can schedule sessions here and also add descriptions of your world and adventure once we're happy with all this we create the world it pops up on the bottom here and launch the world we're given a this is the dm's login so go to game master we don't have an access key yet and we join the session and then we're greeted with this page Going through, I want to get your players in as fast as possible, so we're going to go straight to the top right, where we have scenes directory. We need to create a scene right from the start, otherwise players can't connect. A player cannot connect to an adventure that has no maps ready. So for this, we're going to create our landing page. We're going to leave most things blank, apart from background image. I'm going to import one of my normal landing pages. And I'm also going to turn global illumination on and vision off. And set that to gridless. This is just to give us a basic landing page. I think every digital online adventure needs to have a landing page. We create the scene, click yes, and there we have our landing page. This is a core page. It's going to be this, what the players join in every time. With our landing page set, we now need to give our characters a character sheet. So I'm going to say player one we have this little thing created this is the player's character sheet we're not going to touch it though that's our, our players to customize when they join in after we've done that we go all the way to our right to our game settings we need to create our player accounts so i'm going to add uh, four players when it comes to username use the player's name not the character name that can cause a clash later on while we're here we're also going to create a gm password Players can also have their passwords if they wish, but it just adds an extra step, which is unnecessary in my opinion. With that done, we save and exit out. We have to log in again. And we're greeted back with a landing page. Once we've got this, we go back to our actors directory. Right click on our player's character sheet, configure permissions and make sure someone owns it. Make sure your player owns it. You would have to do this for each of your characters. We're just going to do it for one for the time being. Once that's out of the way, we go back to our settings. And then there's a button down at the bottom called Invitation Links. This gives you a pop-up box with a code. One of them's going to say local. That means if your players are on the same network in the same building as you. One of them says internet. Give your players the internet code only if they are connecting from outside your network from somewhere else. Whether it be different country, different world, different home. With that though, once your players have that code, they can log in. So we'll go over to player view. Player view is much the same as what the DM gets as they select their player account. There's no password, so I can just click join session. As I load in, I am giving this. 
I can see the world. I select my character. I can also select my color of my icons and also select an image. From that though, we save configuration, continue on. From here, our player can access their character sheet and makes any roles they need to. And that about covers it for this tutorial. Thank you for joining me. In the next one, I will be going over some more complicated stuff. I'll be going through my main mod sets that I use for 5e. And I hope to see you there. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.